Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Wilfredo, how are you? How are you today, Wilfredo? More or less. Oh. So, so. But, but it's good. You're better. Than yes, it's yes. bad. The, the medicine that Moises recommend you was good. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Good. So, Jessica, Carolina, welcome. William, Antonio. Welcome, Moises. Maria. Hi, Hi hello. Evelyn, welcome. Mateo, it's a pleasure to, to see you again, right? It's a pleasure. Now we're going to start. Hello, uh, Maria is on. Hello, hello, Mateo. And and we, we have this message. Maria is on her way. She's transportation, right? She's coming to the class in some minutes, right? Okay. Hello, Brenda. How are you? <laughs> It's a pleasure to see you, Brenda. Okay, and Carlos Armando, working. Do not work anymore, Carlos. Ya mucho trabaja, Carlos. Oh, no, 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 come on. <laughs> no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, ooh, excellent. Very good. Participation, nice. Yes. I like it, I like it. very good. Uh, yeah. No ¿Cómo? in the forest, right? No in the forest. No, no está en el bosque, yes. <laughs> okay. Nah. Excelentoso, excelentoso. Okay, let's begin, right? Uh, we are going to review the use of uh, how to report problems or how to report report common issues, common problems, right? Okay, uh, if you want to report a problem, you can use this expression, the window won't open. The window won't close. Can you give me other example of other things that won't open or won't close, please? Other example? Won't open the door? The door, right. The, the door won't open. The or door one, won't close. Yes. Won't close the door. That's okay. Good example, right? The iron won't turn on. The iron won't turn on. Another example with another device Can you talk about computers TVs radio stereo what, what else help G give me example please for example the 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 light won't too long the light, for example, there is a problem with electricity and then the light, the light won't turn on, for example, right? Then the opposite of this is the air conditioner won't turn off. This is an example, right? So, yeah. right? Or that example, maybe what? I don't know. Maybe the refrigerator could be, right? Okay. Now, uh, the fridge is making a funny sound. Other example, please. Do you see the car? The car is an example. Yeah, right. The car is making a funny sound. Funny sound is, is not good, right? Okay, the toilet won't flush. And finally, the sink is closed. You can also say la pila is closed, right? <laughs> la pila is closed. Sometimes because of the, the water, we have a lot of uh, wastes, waste, right? Waste, sorry. Residuals, waste, the water. And then it, it makes the, the pipes, you know, la tubería, the pipes get clogged right very good so and then let me close this let me close this okay very good and we have here just give me a second please i want to check the 
the the manual the manual okay that's it right i will share with you in this moment the manual okay in the manual in the manual right we have this situation right page 40 page 40 ways to report a problem it says i would like to report a problem i would like to report an issue an issue is a synonym of problem right issue is a problem a trouble also right trouble is a synonym i have a i have trouble with and then things that you can report for example it it doesn't it seem to work. It makes a strange or a funny sound. It doesn't turn on or it, or, or it won't. Remember in the examples we were watching? It won't turn on or the opposite. It won't turn off, right? Some machines, right? That it's not possible to turn on. Or turn on, right? So these are the ways we uh, report problem, right? These are the ways we report problem. Let me see. If we can check this. I guess that's enough, right? Here we have some possibility, right? But we're going to continue with the class today. This is the class for today. The page is page forty-two page 42 right but in a moment for the moment let's go to the to the powerpoint presentation right and later we continue with the with the manual oh delia is in australia very good delia congratulations yes nice teacher uh, my son when i Apareció la foto de mi hijo, entonces puse esa. <laughs> no, we want to see your son, no problem. Yeah. No, teacher, es que... What? A veces, What? yo soy de las pocas que tiene encendida la cámara, fíjese, y ahorita me duele mucho la cabeza. <laughs> <laughs> ok, no problem, I understand. No, no, I, I, I thought you were in Australia, that was... Ok, <laughs> Wilfredo, tú. Maybe someday. <laughs> Carlos, tú, de, oh, eh, Moisés, right? But I don't know why you, you don't turn off your camera. What is the problem? Look at the teacher. I am ugly. <laughs> I am ugly and I, I, I show the camera, right? <laughs> no problem with me. But you are beautiful, Delia. You are beautiful. Uh, Maria Rene is beautiful. Kenya. Brenda, right? Evelyn, I understand because she's taking care of the baby. No problem. William, Antonio, come on, William. The camera, come on, boy. Yes. Show yourself, right? We in this group only beautiful people. Wilmer, Alexi, Mateo, Elsa, come on. Turn on your cameras. We want to see you. Interaction, right? <laughs> yes. Look at teacher, Miss Michaela. Ah no, yes. It's a, yes, uh, sorry. Uh, the exception is Mateo. Mateo told me since the beginning of the course, it says the, the first day of class, a, a teacher. Uh, mi señal no es buena. Sí. Okay, I understand. Right? But look at du uh, Dino, right? Du Dino is ugly. Hey, I'm not <laughs> ugly. I am handsome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. So let's, let's start with the class. It's a commercial, right? I want to remind you only, remember Monday, everybody in class, right? Okay, don't forget. Do not miss Cualquier eh, cita que tengan, reunión de trabajo, whatever, eliminate it. Only English class on Monday, right? It's mandatory. Okay, let's begin, right? Uh, today is uh, Tuesday, right? Tuesday, September 10th. Look at the teacher blue, color blue, right? So uh, today is September the 12th. And we are going to learn how to use would like. Te gustaría. No te gusta, right? Te gustaría. Quisieras. ¿no? Remember, will is the future, want is the present, and would is the past, right? 
So we're going to learn something about this. Uh, Delia, don't worry about the camera. I give you permission, no problem. I give you permission. You don't feel well, no problem. Yes, it's a, it's a prize for, for, for be very disciplined, right? Es un premio por <laughs> ser disciplinada, yes. Thank you, teacher. Turn off the camera, don't worry. Okay, okay. now, uh, Mateo, can you help me reading the the objective for tonight, please? You need four? Uh, you need four, the support. I will be able to report a problem using, huh? using formal language. Using a, a pro, formal language, right? Formal, very formal, because in the office, uh, you don't say, mira vos, vení a arreglarme la compu. You don't say that, right? I mean, <laughs> you have to, to follow a, a process in the in the, in the the company, right? And uh, remember this, tech, right? It's like tech support, technologies. Most of the time related to computer, right? Good. Uh, class. What is the most common problem you have with the printers? Hmm? What is the most common problem you have with the printers? Please, volunteers. In the paper, um, obstruction, I, 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 I don't know how to say the paper. Stuck, say... stuck, stuck. It's se traba, se traba el papel. The paper stuck, right? Mm -hmm. The paper stuck. Yes, or what other problems? Is, how do you say tinta? Ink. When, when the ink is out. It's over. When the ink is over, right? Yes. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wilfredo, how often do you use printers? Every day, every week, every month? It's, uh, every day. But in my case, in the office, the printer is, is the rent. Ah, really? Yes. Interesting. But, but it's no no problem that only when the problem you you call the the tech support mm -hmm. yes good yeah. good thank you right now william how often do you use the printer william in your company what is the frequency that you use the the, the printers in your company yeah. Every day, every week. Every week. Every week. Oh, it's not frequently. In my case, because I am a teacher, I, all the time I use in the the printer, right, Wilfredo? No, but it's other no problem. But in my in my office, is the other other occasion is is. Because the no no pump no paper no pump no, pa <laughs> no, no paper I say what is a problem yes. no, no, <laughs> no no paper no, no, no paper, no paper. Ah. yes but only for you print only when the is 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 very urgent but ah, other, yes another occasion okay thank you Wilfredo for your commentary William thank you for your commentary. Eh, William, espero que su, su hijo esté bien ahora, que esté mejorándose. Ya, yeah, gracias, va recuperando. Qué bueno, qué bueno. Con el amor de los padres ahí, la medicina, pues. Yes. Y ahí arriba, va, es ahí, con esa ayuda no, no hay falla ahí. Si nos encomendamos a él, pues ahí, ahí va todo, ¿verdad? Ahí no hay más palabras que decir. Ok. Now, let's continue. Right now. Uh, we have this vocabulary, look, accounting. What is accounting? Accounting is the process of keeping financial accounts, right? Uh, for example, we have Wilfredo. Wilfredo is an expert in accounting, right? Financial accounts, financial money, you know, money, money, money. Soon is in a short time. For example, uh, Sadly, right? Mm, sadly, we are finished the course soon. September 18, we finish, right? And then you pass, you pass to basic three. Except Delia, sorry, she's not going to pass. <laughs> no, Delia, you, you're going to pass. 
to basic three, right? So soon, soon. Uh, soon, ah, they're going to open the, 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 the public library in San Salvador, right? Soon, soon. In, in Plaza Gerardo Barrio, they are making a, a public a library. So soon they are going to open it, right? Mm -hmm. Soon. Uh, soon the selecta is going to lose again. <laughs> soon. <laughs> In a short time. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. And right away is immediately. In this moment, right? Teacher, can you explain uh, the use of the verb to be? Yeah, immediately. Right away. Right away. Immediately, right? Uh, Moises, can you give Semita for everybody in this class? Eh, yes, in this moment, right away, immediately, right? <laughs> okay, good. Now, uh, let's go to the conversation for tonight. Mike says, Mike Arnaldos, IT department, information technology, is this right? Information technology, uh, tech, tech support, you know? Uh, IT department, and, and Maria says, hello, ah, Maria, you know? Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Resino Mendez. <laughs> okay, from accounting. I would like to report. I would like to report a problem with my printer. Uh huh. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? What is the problem? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes. It says service. Service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. It happened to me all the time. No? Error. I would like you to come soon to check it. And then it says, I see. I'll be there right away. Para ayer, right? Immediately. Okay? Good. That's it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, repeat after me, please. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. Ah, you know, it's a woman. Right? Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. From... From accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. Would. Would. Report. Report. Printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? Problem, Miss Miss Ochoa. It doesn't seem to be working. Sim, sim. It doesn't seem to be working, and it's making a strange. I'm sorry, a strange noise. And is making a strange noise. Strange. Strange. There is a song from the doors who says, People are strange when you're a stranger. So strange. Now repeat after me, please. Is there a message in the control panel? Message? No massage. Massage is uh, 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 massage, right? No, this is message. Message. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes. It says service. Says. Say no. It's says. Because it's it, right? It says, she says, he says. But they say, we say, I say, right? But in this case, it says. Yes, it says service. Also, 
there is a red light on the error button. Red light. Error. Error. Button. Button. You can say button, but it's more common button, right? Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I would like you to come soon to check it. Check it. Soon. Would like. I see. I'll be there right away. I'll be there right away. Right away. Okay, now we'll uh, we'll take the attendance for tonight, and later uh, we're going to practice the conversation. Right? Ah, sorry, I have a message here. Good evening, Jessica Carolina. Welcome, welcome to the class. Yes, Ada, stay present. Sí. Yeah. Okay. Sí. <laughs> of course. Welcome, Ada. Welcome to the class. Uh, Brenda Liz, in in transportation in this moment. Brenda. Present. Thank you, Brenda. Welcome, Carlos. Mr. Carpio. The cuatro. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Francisco. Hello. Sí, te escucho. Yes, yes. Present, present. Present, present. Okay, good. Lo que pasa es que me tardo en activar el micro. <laughs> no problem, Carlos, no problem. Ok, Francisco. Francisco. Delia. Ah, oh, ok, thank you. Delia. Present, teacher. Present. Elsa. Thank you. Elsa. Present. Enrique. Si va en camino, Enrique, me, eh, me pone el mensaje ahí para notarle la asistencia. Erenia. Yes, teacher, voy en camino. Ah, ok, good. Oyente, lo voy a poner, oyente. Pero me avisa cuando llegue a casa, oiga, me avisa. Thank you, thank you. Ok, good, good. Erenia. Evelyn. Present, teacher. Ok. ¿Todo bien con su princesa, Evelyn? Sí. Ah, ok, excelente, excelente. Ok, Freddy. Ya no vino Freddy, ¿verdad? Creo que se fue para Guatemala, definitivamente. Qué lástima. Bueno. Eh, Ingrid. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jessica Araceli. Jessica Araceli. Por ahí vi a Jessica. Hello, Jessica Araceli. Hello, hello. Aquí está. Bueno, aquí está Jessica Arcel. Yes. Jessica Carolina. Present. Excelente. Eh, Jonathan. Present. Very good. Kenya. Present. Good. Hoy estamos en casita, ¿verdad, Kenya? No, teacher. Ah. Tuve un inconveniente. Eh, me quedé uh. en la empresa porque tenemos que ah, trabajar. Pero sí puede participar. Eh, no, porque uh. tengo batería baja en el teléfono y tengo que pedir todavía un Uber. Uh, no, pues no, no, el Uber es indispensable. Entonces, guarde energía ahí, pues la vamos a tener de oyente nada más. Eh, sí. Pero sí, sí puede conectarse la compu, ¿verdad? No, porque ya estoy aquí esperando, o sea, estoy esperando ah. el Uber ya. Ah, en bueno. Okay. Del, no, no, no. De la empresa. Ok, no hay problema. Ahí si llega a casita, pues ahí me avisa. Oiga, si llega a tiempo. De acuerdo. Ok, eh, María. María René. Mateo. Present. Moisés. Present. Alexi. Present. Ok, thank you, Mr. Caballero. 
Wilfredo. Present teacher. Good. Excelente, Wilfredo. Soy en la voz ahí que ya se recuperó totalmente. Así que. Yeah. Gracias, Moisés. Gracias. Ahí me le da medicina it's, a todos los demás. It's good. It's good. Okay. William. Present. Wilmer. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, more messages here. Let me see. Uh, teacher, aquí estoy. Uh -huh. Sí, el, el audio. No hay problema. Uh, Jessica Araceli. Aquí puede estar de, de escuchante, ¿verdad? De, de oyente. No problem. Good. Now, let's, let's go to the conversation. Now, let's practice the pronunciation again, and then we're going to practice with everybody, like this, right? Now, listen to me. A commercial, right? Eh, eh, chicos, a la altura de este nivel, básico 2, pues ya ustedes han mejorado mucho en las conversaciones. Yo esperaría que, no que lo digamos así de corrido, ¿verdad? Pero tratar de hacerlo un poquito así natural, como eh, yo a veces escucho a Elsa, por ejemplo, Elsa, no sé, como que le pone <ríe> un poco de, de, de arte, ¿verdad? De, de, como que es una actriz, ¿no? Entonces, eso nos ayuda para, para sentir que, que estas conversaciones, pues, las podemos aplicar en la vida real, ¿no? Hay algunas, no, palabritas, ajá, hay algunas palabritas que son difíciles, pero no se preocupen. Leanlas de corrido y luego las corregimos. ¿Ok? Good. But teacher, but yes, with, with, the, with the listen de Elsa, I remember when the airport. Mm -hmm. Airport. The airport. Yes. Yes. No, no. That's okay. It's I understand. Good. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. uh, flight number three yes. speaks from. Yes. Uh, Volaris is coming from Los Angeles. Yes. But passengers in gate number five pass to ah, okay. <laughs> Yes, of course. It's Mateo okay. too, Mateo, the, the voice of Mateo is like a, he works in on the radio, you know, like a locutor, right? <laughs> yes. So Elsa too, yes. Okay, now please repeat after me. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Department? Department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working. And it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. I'll be there right away. Very good. So let's start. Let's start with uh, Ada. Hello, Ada. You're going to be Mike. No, no, you want to be Maria, right? Uh, no, yes, Mike, Mike, Ada. And Brenda, you're going to be Maria. Okay, ready, girls? Are you ready? One, two, three, action. Maya Hernandez, it department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accountant. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It does seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. 
Is there a message in the control panel? Is yes, it's SAS is it SAS service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to you to come soon to check it. I see in in our brighter the right and why. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Now listen, IT, IT department, you know, IT. IT. Accounting, 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 accounting. Would like, would like, would like. Hmm? It doesn't seem, it doesn't seem. Message, message. It says, it says, it says. I'll be there right away. I'll be there right away. Okay. Thank you no, very much. Again, Ada and Brenda, thank you. Now, Carlos, please. Uh, you are Mike and uh, Francisco, you are Maria, right? There you go, guys. One, two, three. Action. Mike Hernandez is the department. Wait a minute. Sorry, I made a mistake here. Okay, good. Thank you. Francisco? Hey. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Mr. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working, and it's, and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also there, also there is a red light on the error bureau. I would like you to come, I would like you to consume to check it. Okay, nice. Very good. And notice, Carlos, this is IT department. I, IT. IT. Uh, it's information technologies, uh, technical support, you know, support the technical, right? It's the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's go to uh, Delia. It, Elsa is there? Yes. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, teacher. Good. Thank you. So, Delia, your mic, and, and Elsa, your Maria, right? There you go, girls. Okay. Mike Hernandez, AT Department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Mrs. Mrs. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working. And it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. Excellent. Also, okay, they listen is IT. IT, right? IT department. IT department. Uh -huh. ET is a movie. ET <laughs> extraterrestrial. <right? laughs> IT department. Uh -huh. IT. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good participation. Now, uh, I need uh, Evelyn. Please help me, Evelyn, with Ingrid. Evelyn, your mic, and Ingrid, your Maria. Ready? Girls, one, two, three, action. Evelyn, are you ready? I'm Mike or Maria? Ingrid, uh, Evelyn, you are you are Mike. You're Mike, yes. And Ingrid is, is Maria. Okay. 
Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my friend. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is, is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it lies service also. There is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check, check it. Check it, very good. I Thank see. You. I'll be there right away. I'm sorry for the interruption, girls. Excuse me. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. Now, um, check it. Right. Remember, it's to together. Right. Very good. We're doing it very well. And congratulations to Evelyn. She says, "Miss." Right. Miss. Remember, Mrs. is uh, Mary. Dun 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 dun. dun. Mrs. Right. Mrs. Dun dun dun. dun. It's Mary. You know. Dun dun dun. dun. Ya seámoslo. Okay. And uh, Miss is with S, you know, Miss. And of course, Mr. is a man, right? Ooh, uh, hello, man. Mr. is a man. But uh, Miss is for both, right? Is for married and not married, right? So again, Mrs. is dan, dan, da, 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 da. Miss is no, no, dan, dan, da, da, no, right? And Miss is both. Es ambos, casada o no casada, right? Especialmente cuando uno se encuentra con una persona que uno no sabe, pues, means, means, right? Okay, thank you. Now, eh, we're going to go with two more students to practice the conversation. Here we have, eh, ah, no, Jessica, ¿ya le funciona el micrófono, Jessica Araceli? Sí, teacher. Ah, excelentoso. Okay, Jessica versus Jessica. <laughs> Uh, Jessica Carolina, ready? You are uh, Maria. And Jessica Araceli, uh, you are Mike, right? Ready, girls? Okay. One, two, three, action. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa for our content. I would like to report a problem with my printing. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working uh, and it's making a strange noise. Is there a mess? Is there a mensaje in the control panel? <laughs> mensaje. Okay. Sorry, Jessica. Excuse me. No, but it's a good resort. Un buen recurso. <laughs> message. Jessica Araceli. Message. <laughs> message in the control panel. Good. Yes. It says there. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like to, to come soon to check it. I see. I will wither right away. Okay, right, right away, right away. Okay, and listen, this is I'll be, I'll be, I'll be. If this is this is not I would, right? I would is different, but in this case, I will. Is, the contraction is I'll. Oh, I will copy. Look. So I would is contracted. I'd. I, right? And I will, I will is contracted. Oh, sorry. Is contracted I'll, I'll. And we have all the pronouns. For example, you, you have she'd, she'll. They, they would, you know, they would. They, 
And they will? They'll. Etc. Etc. All the pronouns are, are in this form, right? Okay, it was a commercial. Let's, let's continue uh, practicing the conversation. Thank you very much, Jessica Carolina and Jessica Araceli. Now we have Jonathan, right? Jonathan, you are Mike. And Mateo, you're going to be Maria, right? Ready, boys? One, two, three, action. Jonathan? Sorry, no tenía el micrófono encendido. Ah, ok. <laughs> May Hernández, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with me. What is the problem, Mr. Ochoa? It's that to be working and it is making a strange noise. Is there a massage in the control panel? Yes. It say service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. A good light you to consult. To check it. I see. I'll be there right away. Okay, nice. So, sorry, Mateo, that the, the, the internet is going like this, right? Sorry. But we copy. Al final, si copiamos, no, no se preocupe. Okay, now, uh, Jonathan, this is Miss. Mr. No, because Mr. is a man, right? And Miss Ochoa is a woman, you know? So Miss, Miss Ochoa, Miss Ochoa, right? And this is message, message, massage, no, it's massage is, ah, no. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> massage. In this case, is message, right? Message. And look, Mateo, it says, it says, it says, 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 right? It says. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, good. Thank you very much, guys. And now we have eh, Maria y Maria, ¿ya se presentaron? ¿Ya están por acá? Sí, teacher. Maria Recino, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, y María René, ¿estamos listos para participar, María René? ¿Todo en orden, María René? Hello, hello. Ok, entonces María... Va a practicar con, con, con Moisés, yes. Okay. So, eh, Moisés, you are Mike. Eh, María, you are María. <laughs> nice. Okay. Okay, Moisés, you begin. Your mic. Your mic, eh, Moisés. Es que mi conexión es un poco inestable, pero okay, ready. Eh, okay, go ahead. Mayor Hernández, Mayor Hernández, IT department. Hello, my this is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like you to report problem with my printer. What is the problem, uh, Miss Ochoa? I doesn't it seem to be working and it is making a strong noise. Um, is there a, a massage in the control panel? There is side the service also there is red light on the the error but but don't no sé cómo se dice eso teacher. Button. Sorry. On Bottom. the on the error, error button. Error button. On the error button, I would like you to come some to check it. I see. I will be there right away. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Moisés, look, massage noise, message. <laughs> Pero también necesito un masaje. Ajá, también. <laughs> ok. Very good. The stress, the stress. Ah. In my case, I, I don't like massage, but yeah, message, message, right? Ok. Good. Now we're going to finish with, let me see, eh, Alexi. No sé si ya puede participar, Alexi, o sigue de oyente. Bueno, entonces sería eh, Wilfredo and William, please. Wilfredo, okay. your, your mic. Eh, William, your Maria, right? It's Action. Okay. Mike Hernández, IT Department. Hello, Mike. This is Mario Ochoa from accounting. I would like to, to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and... It's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on, on the error board. A good light to you come soon to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. Right away. Very good. Thank you. Right away. Now, right Wilmer, away. thank you. Wilmer, you're going to, let me see, eh, Maria René, hello, Maria René. Permítame, Wilmer, le vamos a hacer una pareja ahí para practicar, si no, yo le ayudo. Okay, okay. Eh, let me see, Mar Maria René. Ok, um, vamos a ver, entonces. ahí le voy a ayudar yo entonces, ok. I'm going to be Maria, right, and, and, and Wilmer, you're going to be Mike, ready? Okay, actually. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control? In the control panel? Oh, yes. It says... Is there a message in the control panel? Uh-huh, yes. It says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I be the right away. Very good. Thank you very much. Nadie me hizo falta? No? Okay. Let's continue. Let's continue, guys. Okay, class, uh, the use of would like. This is the topic for today, right? Would like. How to use would like. Use would like to say what, what, uh, what you want. Sorry, uh, there is a mistake here. Let me, let me correct. Sorry. Permítame que voy a corregir este error. Aquí es to say what you want, right? Que es lo que tú quieres, yes. Uh -huh, Wilfredo, any question? But the question for me, I don't remember when you say the the problem is other other word. What which is the word? Ah, the I use problem is a synonym yes. of you issue. I don't know if it is yes issue or oh. also, also you can say trouble. Oh, these are synonyms. Synonyms. Oh. I have a problem. I have an issue. I have a trouble. But the, which is the the word is more more more, more common is more problem. Uh, problem. Problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. So oh, wait, okay. Yes. Yeah, Thank you, teacher. Is. No problem. No problem. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. Again, use would like to say what you want, right? What you want. Excuse me. Now, especially when making offers and requests. Right? For example, when you say, I would like you to, to eat some semita with me, right? 
or when you make a request, I would like to to go to a restaurant with you, you know, for, for example, right? So it's a, a making an, an offer when you give something and when you ask, cuando pide o ofrece algo, right? Pedir o ofrecer. So you say that, would like to. She would like to send the copies to the office. Right? She would like to. So in this case, it's expressing what she wants. She wants, what, what, what does she want? She wants to send the copies, right? He would like, or contraction, he'd like to go to the training, right? Training. Notice that after the preposition to, we have a verb, to send, to go, right? Then they like to get a new printer. They would like to go to get a new printer. So we have send, go, and get, right? We would like to get a race. Aumento, right? We would like to get a race. Money, said right. I would or I'd like to have lunch. Again? Oh, sorry. We have the verse send, go, get, and have. Right? Good. Now repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. She would like to send the copies to the office. He like to go to the training. They like to get a new printer. We would like to get a race. I like to have lunch. Okay, read it again, please. Uh, William, help me, please. Read the five sentences again, please. She would like to send the copies to the office. He'd like to go the, to the training. They'd like to get a new printer. We would like to get a rice. I'd like to, I'd like to have lunch. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, welcome, Erenia. Va a participar en clase, Erenia? Do you copy? 10-4, 10-4, Erenia, Erenia. 10-4, 10-4. Okay, good, no problem. Now, uh, we, we have an exercise, right? It says, I is the subject, would like to, that express what you want, right? What you want to ask or offer, que es lo que quiere ofrecer o que es lo que quiere pedir, right? I would like to. And then it says, I would like to speak English. Yeah, nice. I would like to speak English. Lie to plus the verb, right? Now, notice that we can use would like to and would like. What is the difference? Because sometimes you say uh, would like and sometimes we say would like to. And then you say, ah, pero una preposición aquí no hace nada. Nunca me... Yes, of course. The preposition to makes a difference, right? We are going to learn and practice also. Notice, please. I would like a cup of tea. Notice that there is no preposition, right? So I would like a cup. Quiero. Something like quiero una taza de té, right? I would like to drink a tea, uh, to drink tea. Me gustaría tomar. Quisiera una taza de té y me gustaría tomar una taza de té. Notice the difference, right? Would like to is like more polite. ¿no? Este es como que es más amable, you know? And then in negative, you say, I wouldn't like a cup of coffee. A, a cup of tea, sorry. Oh, I wouldn't like to. Green tea. So what is the difference? Mainly the difference is that um, when you use would like, 
The next word is a noun. Mm -hmm. A noun. I I would like a car. I would like a I would like a I would like pizza. I would like <clears throat> I would like a trip to to United States. <laughs> I would like um what? I would like semita, right? So a noun, nouns, nouns, right? But when I say a like to, right? You have a verb to drink, to go, to speak, to read, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? So what is the big difference, class? The big difference here is notice the preposition to. This is the big difference, right? Because it's the same. Look, would like, would like to. Wouldn't like, wouldn't like to. It's the same. The only thing here, the difference is two. And after two, we have a verb, right? The same happened with the questions. Look, would, would you like a cup of tea? Would you like to drink tea? And then the answer, and the answer say, yes, I would, yes, she would, no, I wouldn't, no, she wouldn't. And the answer is the same, right? You don't say, I would, I would too. No, 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 I would too, no. It's only I would. Oh, in negative, I wouldn't, right? Good. Any question? So, eh, recuérdense que este auxiliar nos sirve para expresar lo que queremos. Si queremos pedir algo o queremos ofrecer algo, pues se usa este auxilio. Que bien común. Es very common, right? Questions? Questions? No questions? Okay, good. Let's continue. Let's continue. Okay, class. Now, uh, let me tell you some grammar notes, right? Las notas gramaticales. I would like a cup of tea is more polite to say I want a cup of tea. Listen. Eh, no es lo mismo decir quisiera. Me gustaría una taza de té. Me gustaría. Quisiera. Que decir, quiero una taza de té. <laughs> quiero una taza de té. Ok. So, notice the difference, right? No. Uh, it's more, more polite, right? And when you use a good like, you use a noun. Look, look. Good like plus noun. And when you use good like to, you use a verb, right? Let's continue. I would like a cup of tea. I would like coffee. I would like uh, water. I would like. Uh, I would like pizza, right? So in this case, would liked is often contracted to I'd. So you say I'd, she'd, they, with, etc., etc. When you speak, when you speak, it's more common to use the contraction. Okay. Yes, I would. <clears throat> sorry. Is never contracted. Yes, I'd. Notice that in all this, this, the answer with yes, no contraction. <clears throat> sorry. Excuse me. For example, are you a student? With verb to be, right? You say, yes, I am. You don't say, yes, I'm. Yes, I'm. <laughs> yes, I'm. No, no. No, you don't say that. No. Yes, I'm. Incorrect. And it's, yes, I am. Do you... Do you... What? 
Do you live in Cujucuyo? Do you live in Cujucuyo? Yes, I do, right? Is a full form, right? The same happened here. Uh, when you say, would you like a cup of tea? Sorry, don't say yes, I wouldn't, right? Or yes, I either. Yes, I either. No, no. Mm -mm. Incorrect. You have to use the full form. Yes, I would. Right? All the time. When yes, no contraction. Right? With no, yes, you can make contractions. With no. But with, when you answer, you give a short answer with, with yes, never use a contraction. Eh? Okay? Let's continue. Um, let me see. In responses to an offer, no thank you is considered more polite than no, I wouldn't. For example, you say, would you like to eat pupusas? Los verdaderos amigos siempre le hacen esta pregunta a uno. <laughs> Would you like to eat pupusas? And then you say, No, I wouldn't. And incorrect. Suena muy pesado, right? Would you like to eat pupusas? No, 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 I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. No, gracias, vos. Okay, no, come on. No. Yeah, it's more polite. Ah, no, thank you. No creo que ningún salvadoreño diga esta palabra. Todos decimos sí a las pupusas, pero no thank you. It's, it's like more polite. Understand? Or also you can say here, would you like pupusas? Would you like pupusas? No thank you. Right? No thank you. Yes. Okay. Good. Now, do you have any questions about the use of would? Remember, this presentation is going to be in the WhatsApp group. After I finish the class, I send this presentation uh, to the WhatsApp group, right? And also the, 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 the recording of this class, you can check it in the platform, right? Tomorrow, tomorrow. Good. Now let's continue, right? So, let's start with the exercise. Ready? I'm going to start with Ada. Hello, Ada. Now, please. Everybody ready, right? I'm thirsty. <clears throat> thirsty, sediento, right? I would like or I would like to. Ada? Um, uh, I would like. Why? Camila. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué sería? Okay. No, no. I will explain. No, you're, you're right. You're right. But, but let me explain why. Yo le explico por qué. No se preocupe. Because a glass of water is a noun. Porque mire, Ada. Un vaso de agua, no se le niega a nadie, por cierto. Eh, es un nombre, right? Es un nombre. Entonces, eh, siempre que, que nosotros eh, usemos un nombre, vamos a poner I would like, right? Let me copy. 
Oops, sorry. I would like. Okay, good. Next one. Thank you, uh, Adam. Now, okay. Brenda, please. Ah, Wilfredo, do you have a question? Antes de ir con Brenda. No, but in, in the in the sentence, but is, for example, when the I thirty are thirty, I, for example, like I drink a glass of water. Oh yes, you're, you're asking. You ask. You're asking if you can use another structure. Yes. Yes, but yes, you yes. you can is other structure, but yes, you yes. can the use. I would like to, uh -huh, but yes. you can the first step before drink. Okay, wait. Number one, uh, Wilfredo, you have many options. I will okay. tell you some some of the options. I will show you. I am thirsty. I want. Oh. I want, for example, yes. a glass of water is, is one example, right? Other example is uh, I will have. Other example is I can have. Okay. Other example is I could have. Other example is uh, I like only well, I like yes many examples. Also, if you add a verb, Wilfredo, you can also say that. Look, I oh sorry, would like to drink yes to drink a glass of water. Acceptable is correct too. Okay. Yes. But in this case, because we don't have, excuse me, we don't have a verb. Here we use only, yes. I would like a glass of water. Yes. Right? Uh, yes. Is the correct Thank, you. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Remember in English, like in Spanish, we have many options. Yes. Yes. Many options. Thank you, Wilfredo, for the question. Now, number two, please. Uh, we're going to make it Brenda. Um, I would like. Okay, but not this is a question, right, Brenda? Um, okay, I will show you. Don't worry, don't worry. I will show you. This is an example of a question. Look. Would you like a cup of tea? Would like, sorry, would you like to drink a tea? Would you like to drink tea? So you use this, this one, right? Understand? Yes. Okay, let's do it, please. Would like... Would you mm -hmm. you like would you like uh -huh. a break? Yes, we yes we we would yes we would yes very good that's okay. Will Fredo, do you have another question? No question. No, no, no. Okay, good, good. No, because I see your hand, right? Ya le debe no, doler oh, la mano. Oh, okay. No, it's, it's, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, teacher. Wilfredo, no, no, I understand, but, but listen, Wilfredo, ya le duele, debe doler la mano. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you. No. Now, eh, let's go to number three. Thank you, Brenda. Correct. Yes, it's correct. Number three, please. Eh, Carlos, I don't understand this. Hola. I would like or I would like to. There's, I don't understand things. I would like. I would like, right? Why? Because some help is a noun. 
Siempre que hay un nombre, solo es good like. I would like some help. Yes. Some help by my homework. With my homework. Okay, good. Thank you, uh, Carlos. Now, everybody, okay. repeat after me. Repeat after me. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. 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 I would like a glass of water, please. Would you like a break? Yes, we would. I don't understand this. I would like some help with my homework. Very good. So, Wilfredo, read the three sentences, please, for the class. Wilfredo? I'm sorry, teacher. Read, read, please. Yes. I am thirsty. I would like a glass of water, please. Would you like a break? Yes, we would. I don't understand this. I would like some help with my homework. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's continue with more exercises, more exercises, right? Let's go to number four. Remember, would like plus noun, would like to plus verb, right? Number four, uh, who's going to help me? Let me see. Uh, Francisco, please. Number four, Francisco. Patrick. Would like. Okay, Francisco, go is a noun or a verb? Go to the supermarket. Go is, um, a, bear, bear. is a, verb, a verb, right? And look yeah. at the yes. formula. Francisco, True. look at the formula. Would like to. I would like to, yes. Excellent also, right? Would like to. Patrick would like to go to the supermarket, right? Thank you very much, Francisco. Now, Delia, please. Number five, Delia. Will, will, will Tom, uh, will Tom uh, come with us now? Would Tom, Would Tom like come with us? Like come. Mm -hmm. Delia, come is a noun or is a verb? No, it's a verb. So, will Tom like? Like um, come with us. Mm. No, no, no. Will, will Tom um, like to? Light too. <laughs> okay, very good. So pleasure, so pleasure. I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> no. no sé, no I'm lo sorry. sé, Rick. Yo creo que ustedes <laughs> se pasan copia en la plataforma. Ya voy a averiguar eso. Y yeah. <laughs> share. Okay, yes, then yes. When, when, cuando se usa con el auxiliar will, la tercera persona, el verbo no lleva ese, No es, no es, okay. yes. In any circumstances, no okay. es. Okay. Yes. En realidad, Delia, solo en el presente simple se usa la S en tercera okay. persona. De ahí, en ningún tema se usa la S en el verbo. Yes. Ok, continue, Delia. Yes. 
is the rule is when the is, is, is the the answer or the question the is always no i will they show use the the, the, the verb the okay the number one condition number one is most simple present it must be simple present tiene que ser presente simple Wilfredo. okay ni, ni pasado ni futuro ni would ni can ni should okay. nada 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 only the simple present right? ni present continuo no no simple present right number two it must be affirmative la oración debe ser yes. afirmativa right negative in questions no right and number three it must be third person singular third person singular no plural and what are the third person singular is he she it and all sing all the singular right? y todos los nombres singulares como pedro maria juan eh, eh, mis amigos mis tías okay my, my uncles my grandparents my parents my friends ah no no sorry excuse me, excuse me. ya ya me perdí yeah, right. no, es yeah, singular my friend only one my friend my brother right you say for example my brother speaks english right for example right so look at the example i speak english They speak English. Mm -hmm. Then she speaks English, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you are the S. Yes. But now, when I use can, for example, she can speak English. Do you use the S? No, right? She didn't speak English, right? Do we use the, the S? No, in negative. She doesn't speak English. Do we use the S? No. Does she speak English? Do we use the S? No. Das. No, right? Because we use the auxiliary does. Yes. So these are the three conditions. Wilfredo, these are the three conditions. So number one. La oración debe estar en presente simple. Simple present, right? Simple present. Simple yeah. present. Afirmative. The, it must be affirmative. Debe ser afirmativo. Okay. Right? Okay. Y debe Same. ser tercera persona singular. Singular, right? He, she, and it. And then all the singular, like my brother, my sister. You know? Mm -hmm. Understand? And in this case, we yes. would, for example, I say, uh, yes. she would... Like or likes? Like, right? Like. 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 To speak English. Speak English. Yes. Okay? Good. Yes. Now let's continue. Let's continue, right? Uh, Read again. Sorry, ya me perdí aquí. Eh, Patrick. Would Tom <laughs> like to come, a, come ah, okay, with yes. us? Yes, give me a second. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Ya, ya no borro todo aquí. Ok, Good. Patrick. Patrick like would, would, like, would like, to. like to, right? And Tom would... Would Tom like to come with us? Yes, he would. Would like to come with us? Yes, he would, right? Meow. Okay, good. Number six. Ah, I have a message. Teacher estará de oyente. Ah, unos minutos. Very good, Wilmer. Good. Good. Okay, let's go to number five. Let's go to number five, right? Can I help you? Yes. This is for... 
Eh, Delia. No, no, Elsa. Sorry, Elsa. Elsa, excuse me. Elsa. Number six, Elsa. Can I help you? Can I help you? Yes, I would like a ticket to Melbourne. I would like a ticket to Melbourne, right? Australia, donde está ahorita Delia, yes. Australia, Melbourne. Okay, can I help you? Yes, I would like a ticket to Melbourne. Now, please repeat after me, repeat after me. Patrick would like to go to the supermarket. He needs milk. Ah, needs. Simple present, affirmative third person singular here, right? Notice we use the S. Three conditions, right? Don't forget. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Would Tom... Ah, sorry, aquí me la regamos. Permítanme un segundito. Yes, sorry. Y no me dicen, no me dicen que me equivoqué aquí. Bon, <ríe> yeah. no, es que cuando, cuando se nos borró todo, ya después ya todo se descontroló, ¿verdad? Ok, now let me see. Would Tom like to, right? Like to. Sorry, que oso, yes. que oso, right? Now, repeat. Would Tom like to come with us? Yes, he would. Yes, he would. Can I help you? Yes, I would like a ticket to Melbourne. Okay. Now, Ingrid. Léanos ahí para que su princesa vea cómo pronuncia bien Ingrid. Vamos. Good teacher. Okay, number four, number five, and number six. And yes. I, I want Jaylene pays attention, right? <laughs> <laughs> Patrick would, would like to go to the supermarket. He needs milk. Will, will Tom like to come with you? Yes, uh, he would. With us. With, with us. With yeah. us. Can I help you? Yes, I would like a ticket to Mel Melbourne. Yeah. Melbourne is in Australia. Cujucuyo is in El Salvador. Similar? <laughs> no. No. Hel Hello, Jaylin. Jaylin. Hola. Hola. Ow. Meow. I like cats. Hello. Cats are delicious. Yeah. Goodbye. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue, right? Number seven, right? Seven. Who's next after? Eh, let me see. Ah, er, Erenia, right? Let me see. Elsa. Ajá. Uh -huh. I don't know. Enrique, are you home? Ya, ya llegó a casa, Enrique. Okay, no answer. So, Erenia, please. Number seven. Teacher, no sé. Está preguntando porque está lloviendo y casi no escucho la clase. <laughs> okay. Is two options. Erenia. Would like or would like to. Would like two, to. Options. <laughs> two options. Do you copy, Erenia? My friends would like or my friends would like to. Um, I would like to. Would like to. Yes. Correct, Erenia. That's correct. Okay, my friend would like to come. Very good. Number seven, number eight. 
Um, yes. This is for Evelyn. Evelyn, help me with number eight, please. <coughs> Would you like to? Yes. Because the verb is work, right? Now continue. No. I don't know. Will not or wouldn't? Uh -huh. Wouldn't. Good. Thank you very much. Now let's continue with number nine. Uh, Ingrid ya participó, okay. Eh, Jessica Araceli está de oyente, ¿verdad, Jessica Araceli? Y no sé si Jessica Carolina ya puede participar, sorry. No, ok. Debemos tranquilitas a la Jessica. Nos vamos con Jonathan, please. Jonathan, number nine, please. Eh... Will you, will you like? Would you like? Okay, let me see. Would you like? Yes. Why like only? Because chocolate ice cream is a noun. Yes, it's a noun. It's not a verb. When it's a verb, you say like to work. That's correct. Like to come. But like to chocolate. Like to chocolate. <laughs> no, no. Like chocolate, right? No preposition to in this case. No preposition. Okay, now class, repeat after me, please. My friends would like to come to the party next week. Would you like to work on Saturday? No, I wouldn't. Would you like chocolate ice cream? Or vanilla ice cream? Okay, Maria, please read the, the three sentences. Maria Recinos. Maria René. Bueno, okay, dejamos tranquilitas a las Jessica, ahora vamos a dejar tranquilitas a las Marías. Creo que debe estar lloviendo por ahí. Okay, so, eh, Wilfredo, help me, please. Ah, no, no, Wilfredo, you already helped me. Ya me ayudó leyendo, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, sí. Sí, sí. Ok, sí, Wilf sir. Yes, yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, ok. So, William, help me, please, William. Sí. Read, William. Sí. Sorry, William. Eh, no, no copio, William. No sé si es mi internet o el suyo. Wilfredo, ¿usted me escucha? Do you listen? Yes. Yes, yes. Ok. Ajá, María. María, no le. Permítame. Ok, mi, mi internet me está fallando yes. ahorita. Permítame. Yes. Casi, casi no yes. le copio, Wilfredo. Le oigo cortado. Permi yes. Creo que es mi internet. Yes. My internet. Yes. Permítame. Es el problema. Yes. Voy, voy a apagar un segundo mi cámara. Tal vez eso me ayude. Vamos a ver. Okay, very good. Eh, Yo, uh, I listen very well, teacher. Okay, good, good. Ahora sí le copio mejor, Wilfredo. 
María me decía algo, María. Que no le es copian. Es que igual todo. es mi internet o es el suyo, okay. no sé. Creo que ambos están fallando ahorita, María. Es que sí, aquí han habido tres apagones, no sé si eso será el problema. Sí, sí, igual ahorita a mí me estaba fallando. Okay. Muy bien, entonces, eh, quiero ver. Eh, ayúdeme, María, la lectura, ¿verdad? Vamos a... William me va a ayudar okay. en, otra, en otra tarea, William. So, María, read. My friends... Okay. My friend would like to come to part next week. Uh, would you la like to work on Saturday? No, I want to. Okay, it's a question. María, it's a question. Would you like to, to work on Saturday? Would you like to work on Saturday? No, I will don't. I wouldn't. I, I would... couldn't. I couldn't. Well, well, do you like chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Maria. Thank you very much. Quiero ver, voy a encender mi cámara otra vez, a ver cómo funciona. Hello, hello. Do you copy? Yes, okay, good. Yes. Estamos bien. Yes. Estamos bien otra vez, okay, good. Son bajones ahí que pasan con el internet. Ok, let me see. Mateo. Ah. Perdí la conexión, dice. Bueno, pero espero que. Que ya esté otra vez. Sí, sí, es que todo no está fallando. En San Miguel, en Sonsonate, en San Salvador. Y es el hecho de que. Ok, todo está fallando, right? Ok. Now, let's go to number 10, right? After uh, Maria, we say William, right? William, help me with number 10, William. Good, uh huh. Would you like to? Like to. Like to, right? No. no. Good, creo que. Yes, no, I wouldn't. Correct. Thank you. Next one, number 11. Let's com continue, right? Ada, can you help me, Ada? Number 11, please. What, what like? What would? What, what would you like? You like? Ada, like or like to? Like, <laughs> like. Okay, remember after like, we have a noun. Is do a noun or a verb? What do you think, Ada? Depends. Do is mm. a verb or is a noun? This is the question, right? Noun um. or verb? A verb, a, a verb, verb, right? A uh -huh. verb. It's a verb. Uh -huh. yes. What, what would you like to? Excelentoso, yes. Like to, yes. Thank you, Ada. Now, uh, Brenda, please. Number 12. Brenda? Would like? Would? No. Would like. Uh -huh. Very good. We? We. We would. We would. My goodness, Brenda. Congratulations. Yes, it's totally correct, right? Uh, in this case, we say who? Quien quisiera? Dulce, right? Candy. Candy. Ooh. And then you say, we would. We would, right? Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me, everybody. Would you like to see a movie? No, I wouldn't. What would you like to do tomorrow? Who would like some candy?
we would. Okay, let's read, please, Carlos. Mr. Carpio, can you read sentences 10, 11, and 12, right? Go ahead, Carlos. Read. Mr. Carpio. Okay, Francisco, help me, please, Francisco. Sentences 10, 11, and 12. <clears throat> Would you like to see a movie? No, I wouldn't. What what would you like to do tomorrow? Who would like some candy? We would. Very good. We would, right? We would. Thank you very much. Now we finish, right? Con este terminamos entonces. Yes, we finish. Ta -da! Now I will share more material, right? Ready? Are you romantic? Do you, do you like uh, TV shows? Uh huh. So here we have who's my date? Quien es mi cita, right? We're going to listen uh, to people on a TV game show, show, right? Three men, Bill, John, and Tony, invite Linda on a date. Oh, romantic moment. What kind of things do they like? What do they like? So let's talk about uh, music, movies, and TV program, right? Okay, listen to the audio. Page 25, Exercise 7, Listening. Who's my date? Part A. Listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? Complete the chart. Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill... John and Tony. So, let's start with the first question. On music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical. Okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay. Now, let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like action movies. And how about you, John? Oh, I like musicals. And how about you, Tony? I love horror movies. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror movies, too. And now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch reality shows. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. <laughs> Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Okay, now let's start together, right? Uh, but let's go slowly, right? Let's go slowly. Today, Linda is okay. going to meet... Let's just start with Bill, right? Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question. On music. Bill... What kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Uh-huh. What kind of music does Bill like? Classic music. Classical. Classical, right? Classical. Uh, let me see. I'm going to uh, maximize it a little. Voy a hacerlo un poquito más grande. Give me a second. Yes. 
Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Classical. Okay, classical. Now, what about Sean? Listen to Sean. Classical. Okay. <laughs> and how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? Yes. My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, so John. What kind of music that John yes. like? Jazz. Yes. 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 Jazz. How about Tony? Rock. 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 We will, we will rock you. King, king, king. King, king, king. Rock, right? Good. What about Linda? Pop, pop music. Pop music. That's totally correct. Pop, right? Very good. Now let's go to, to talk about movies, right? Movies. Okay. Now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like action movies. And how about you, John? Oh, I like musicals. And how about you, Tony? I love horror movies. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror movies, too. Oh. And Good. Bill, what kind of mo movies does Bill like? Action movies. Action movies, yes. Very good. Arnold Schwarzenegger, John claude Van Damme. Liam Neeson. Stallone. Stallone, yes. Javier Gomez. And another famous actor, right? <laughs> Action. <laughs> Action. Very good. Now, John? Horror, horror movies. Mm, musicals. 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 Yes. Musicals. Musicals. Yes. Musical, right? Good. Now, Tony? Horror uh, movies. Horror movie, right? El Retorno de la Suegra. Oh. <laughs> Horror movie. Oh. Los del Ministerio de Hacienda llegan a tu casa. Oh. Yeah. Well, horror movie, right? Horror, yes. Now, let me see. Oh, El Regreso del Árbitro de Fútbol. Ooh. Now, what about Linda? What kind of movie does she like? Horror movie. Horror movies too, right? A mi chica mm -hmm. le gustan las de miedo. Okay, horror too, right? Now, TV programs. Listen. Now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch reality shows. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time. Good. So, Bill, what kind of, uh, of TV program does he like? Real reality shows. Reality shows. shows. Mm -hmm. And John? Talk show. Talk show, right? Talk shows. Mm -hmm. And what about Tony? Game show, game shows. Game shows. Okie dokie, game shows. And what about Linda? Talk shows and game shows. Talk and game shows. Okay, good. Opinions. What is the best date for Linda? Tony. Tony. Any other opinion? Yes. Yes? Well, no, yeah. Yes. It is, it is Tony. Tony. 
Yes. Tony, are you sure? It's not it's not Wilfredo, it's not William. No. It's not Wilmer. <laughs> it's Tony, it's <laughs> Tony, Tony, right? It's, it's Tony. Tony. Tony is the correct yes. date for Linda. Okay. Very good. Besides that, Tony is Aliancista and Barcelonista. It's perfect. <laughs> Very good. Yes. Okay, class. This is the use of like, right? I like. Or I would like. Mm -hmm. So, let's go to a conversation. And let's continue practicing, right? Listen, please. Page 25, Exercise 8, Conversation, An Invitation, Part A, Listen and Practice. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Why don't we meet at the gate? That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, again, again, listen. Page 25, Exercise 8, Conversation. An Invitation. Part A. Listen and Practice. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Why don't we meet at the gate? That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, now listen again, and this time repeat. Please, ready? Jen. Listen and Part A. Listen and practice. Repeat. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. I have tickets. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to. But I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Why don't we meet at the gate? That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, very good. Now, two volunteers, just two volunteers to practice this conversation. Come on. Uh, Ingrid, Ingrid, you are yes. Susan. Susan, now I need a Dave. Uh huh, volunteers, come on, practice, practice. Me, William. Wilfred. Ah, William. Okay, William, you are Dave, right? Ready? One, two, three, action. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I do love to watch. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. That Sounds great. 
So do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, six o'clock. You like to, but I have to work late. Oh, thanks. Okay, let's just meet at his stadium before the match around seven thirty. Okay, why don't we be at the gate? That sounds, that sounds fine. See you there. Okay, very good. See you there. Look, it says, would you like to go? I love to, right? What time does it start? Mm -hmm. Okay, then stadium. This is difficult to pronounce. Look, stadium. Stadium. Mm -hmm. Stadium. <laughs> okay, good. Now, let's go to the information here, right? Who liked? Was there, right? Listen. Page 26, exercise 9, grammar focus. Would, verb plus two plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction. I'd equals I would. Okay, class. So in this case, notice please that we say like to go, right? We use a verb. We use a verb, right? And then in the answer you say, yes, I would. Yes, I love to. Thanks. You know, thanks. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I like to, but I have to. These are excuses, right? But, you know, but in the most important part here is that we don't have a noun. Notice, please. It's not a noun. Right? Is a verb. Look, verb. So, would like to go, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Now, to finish the class, we're going to, to see some exercises. Let me see. Okay, very good. I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? What is the possible answer? Would you like to go? No. Oh. It's a respond to the three invitation, right? right? So, would you like to go? What is the possible answer? Please help me. There are many possibilities, right? Yes. For me, uh -huh. I... I uh, I I wouldn't. But yes. I, this this is personal. Yes. 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 Nice. Yes, I would. Thank you. Thank you very much, Wilfredo. Now, no, but for me, it's not possible because ah. this like the baseball. You don't like the baseball? Yes. No. And only for the soccer and basketball. Only for the soccer, basketball, and basketball. In, in Capirucho, right? Okay. Nice. <laughs> yes. Nice. So in this case, no. No. I would. would. No, I wouldn't. Uh, normally, yes. you answer with yes. an excuse, right? Yes. So in this case, what is the possible excuse? I need to visit my parent. Or, okay. or I like to. Oh, yes. Comma. But I have visit my parent, right? Yes. 
It's polite. It's not true, right? No es verdad, pero bueno. No, it's, it's, it's polite. Ah, it's polite. Be seen. Sorry, I can't put an N de master. Sorry, but you understand, right? I like to, but I have to visit my parents. Yes. Okay, number two, please. Another possible answer for number two. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Uh -huh. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? What is a possible answer? There are many possibilities, right? You can give an excuse. You can say, yes, I would. Or yes, I love to, et cetera, et cetera. What is the possible answer? Volunteers, please. Volunteers. Hello, hello, volunteers. Come on. Come on. Participation. Wake up. We only have four minutes to finish the class, right? Four minutes and we we'll finish. So participation, come on. Action, wake up. Yes, I do. Yes, I would. Okay, very good. And then we can continue, right? But because of the time, we finish here. Now I will share the, the manual, right? And we finish with the manual. Page number 40, 43, right? Look, it says, pay attention, please. How to use would lie to, right? Use would lie to, to say what you want, especially when you're making offers and requests, right? Singular, she would lie to say. He'd lie to meet. And plural, they would lie to, and we liked. Mm -hmm. And notice that we have verb, right? Notice send, meet, speak, and ship, embarcar, right? All of them are verbs, no nouns. So for that reason, it's absolutely necessary you copy the preposition to. You say, I would like to send, to meet, to speak, to ship, right? So these are the ways we use good light. Now, class, I don't know if you have questions. No questions? Good. Now, uh, we'll ask one volunteer. Voy a pedir un voluntario para quedarse esta noche, 10 minutos. Eh, tengo a María René, a Alexi, a William Antonio, a Jessica Araceli y Jessica Carolina. Vamos a ver quién de estos chicos quiere quedarse esta noche. Two, uh, ten minutes only, right? Veamos, volunteers. Teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Jessica yo Carolina. Estoy, yo estoy este, con un grupo de, de compañeras Ajá. haciendo una tarea. And learning English too, right? También están aprendiendo inglés. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No problem, Jessica. Carolina, no problem. Maybe, to, maybe tomorrow, right? Maybe tomorrow, Jessica. Yes. Good. Now, Maria Rene. Hey, teacher. William. Ah, William. Thank you, William. Nice. And we are going to have, listen, tomorrow is Wednesday and Thursday, right? Ya solo nos quedarían dos tutorías más. Así que eh, estaríamos trabajando el miércoles y jueves. Y el día lunes la tutoría sería para todos, ¿verdad? Porque ahí nos vamos a quedar juntos. ¿Yes? Ok, hay paz de Liz. Voy a pasar el listado y me quedo solo con William. ¿Ready? Ok, Ada. Present, teacher. Ok, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Brenda Lee. Brenda. Present. Bye bye. See you tomorrow, Brenda. Carlos. Present. See you tomorrow, Carlos Francisco. Present. Bye bye, good Francisco. Night. Good, good night. 
Take care, Delia. Elsa. Good night, see you tomorrow. Good night, Enrique. Good night. Good night, to Enrique. You. Take care, Erenia. Evelyn. Okay, bye bye, Evelyn. God bless you, Ingrid. Present teacher, good bye night. Bye bye, good night, Jessica Araceli. Present. Bye good bye, night. Jessica. Have a good night, Jessica Carolina and classmates. Present teacher. <laughs> okay, have a good night, uh, Jonathan. Good night, teacher. Good night, Kenya. Present. Bye bye, take care, Maria. Present. Good night. Good night, Maria Rene. Mateo. Good night. Good night, Mateo. Have a good night, Moises. Good night, teacher. Good, good night. You. See you tomorrow, eh, Alexi. Rene, Alexi. Okay, Wilfredo. Present teacher. Good okay, night. Good Thank night. You. Good night. You're welcome. William. Present. Present. Okay. No se me vaya a ir, William. Eh, Wilmer. Present teacher. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Alguien que no haya mencionado. Ah, I have two messages here. Two messages. It says uh, Brenda Lee present. Very good, Brenda Lee. And. Uh, Alexi, present, right? Very good. Thank you very much, everybody. Delia, have a good night. See you tomorrow, Delia. From Melbourne, Australia. No, no, Sydney, right? Sydney, Australia, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, have a good night. Good night, teacher. Teatro de la Opera, Australia. Goodbye. Yes. Bye. Okay, hello, William. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to have you for the second time, right? Por segunda vez estamos en este curso, ¿verdad? Yes. Eh, any question? Algún tema de que le haya costado, William, que quisiera que repasáramos? Eh, creo pasar? que el más especial fue el presente simple y el presente. Ah, la comparación de ambos. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí. Bueno, veámoslo entonces. Es el, la parte más difícil. <ríe> yes, no me preocupe, ahorita vamos a compartir una pantalla aquí para, para copiar, ¿verdad? Ok. Primero vamos a dividirlo en dos partes. En el uso, no, en tres partes. En el uso, en la estructura y, y ejemplos, ¿verdad? Le vamos a hacer aquí un gran cuadro. William. Ok, el presente es simple, ¿verdad? O simple present. Puede decir simple present o present simple. And the simple, the present continue. Okay. What, when do I use simple present? ¿Cuándo lo usamos? For habits. Hábitos. Y rutinas. Usted dice, William, yo todas las mañanas me baño, voy al trabajo, los domingos voy a la iglesia, etcétera, etcétera. Es una rutina, right? Un hábito. Ahí es cuando usamos el presente simple. Y el presente continuo es para describir situaciones que se están dando en el momento de, de hablar, at moment of speaking, right? En una forma continua o una forma eh, progresiva, que es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Pero además, William, el presente continuo, continuo, le escribí ahí, perdón. <ríe> Sorry. Continuous, right? Lo usamos para describir el futuro, ¿verdad? Pero es un futuro corto, short future. Es decir, no decimos, eh, I am visiting my parents in two years. No, no, no. Es, es next week, tomorrow, etcétera, etcétera. Entonces, lo que estamos aquí describiendo un futuro cercano, corto, ¿verdad? Porque ese es el uso. 
Ahora, la estructura gramatical es, en el simple present se usa el do y el das. ¿Tiene algún inconveniente en el uso del do y el das? William, ¿entiende en cuál usamos do y en cuál usamos das? Eh, sí, me, yo tengo sí, sí. en el cuadernito. Excelente, sí, pero lo voy, a, lo voy a poner yo. They, we, you y I, ¿verdad? En esto usamos el do y en cuál usamos el das. Sería para eh, he, she, he, she, she, it, and no, plural. No, it, singular. No, singular, en todos los singulares. Excelente. Ok, entonces ahí estamos claros, ¿verdad? Se usa el, el das. Y se usa, eh, William, porque, bueno, nosotros en español el verbo lo vamos transformando, pero en inglés no lo, no lo cambia. Entonces, para eso ellos usan el auxiliar. Ok, uh -huh. y con el presente continuo, el auxiliar que usamos es el verbo to be. Y un verbo en presente participio. ¿Qué es un presente participio? William. Un presente participio es un verbo más ing. Verb. Plus ing. Right? Work, working. Speak, speaking, etcétera, etcétera. Esa es la estructura gramatical, ¿verdad? Además, en el presente simple, si se recuerda, eh, para tercera persona, en, en afirmativo, right, agregamos S a los verbos. ¿no? Y a S, ¿ok? Good. Vaya. Y como ejemplos, tenemos las oraciones afirmativas. Afirmativo, right? I take a shower. <laughs> Sorry, perdón. A shower every day, por ejemplo. O I always take a shower, por ejemplo. Afirmativo. I am taking a shower to, eh, right now. O now, right? Ahorita estoy bañando. ¿no? <coughs> sorry, sorry, William. Ok. Si se fija, cuando yo digo tomo una ducha todos los días, es una rutina una frecuencia con que hago algo. Pero si yo le digo, ahorita estoy bañándome, no le voy a decir, ahorita me baño. No, es, ahorita me estoy bañando, right? Para tercera persona, miren. He takes a shower. Y para tercera persona, en, en presente continuo, uso el is. He is Taking a shower. Muy bien. En la forma negativa. Para el presente simple usamos el, el auxiliar también. Do y das, ¿verdad? Para eso está ahí. Entonces, I do not o contracted. I don't. I don't live in Santana. Ok, negativo. Por the present continuous, William. Y, no, perdón, creo que aquí me quiero quedar. Aquí está. Sorry. Ok, negativo, right? Mm. Negativo. So it says, I am not living in San Salvador. 
Ok, I am not living in San Salvador. En estos momentos no estoy viviendo. Pero si digo en el presente simple, no vivo, no vivo, no como, no corro, no, ajá, etcétera, etcétera, right? Y por último, question, right? It says, do you, do you like ice cream? Does she run every day? And then you say, yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't, right? And to finish is, are you eating ice cream, for example? Are you eating ice cream? Does she run? Uh, is she running right now? Está ella corriendo ahorita? Okay. Ah, perdón, pero aquí me faltó ponerle pregunta, ¿verdad? Sorry. Question, right? Para que se entienda. Okay. Eh, la estructura creo que ya la habíamos visto, ¿verdad, William? Pero el uso del presente simple y el presente continuo es diferente. Solo que a veces, William, tendemos, tendemos a mezclarlo, ¿verdad? Y entonces ahí es donde entran las confusiones. ¿Cuándo usar el do? ¿Cuándo usar el das? ¿Cuándo usar el is? ¿Cuándo usar el are? ¿Verdad? Entonces es diferente. El auxiliar del presente continuo es el verbo to be. Y el auxiliar del presente simple es el verbo do y das. Ok, y en las oraciones en afirmativa para tercera persona le agregamos una S al verbo, pero en el presente continuo no, ¿verdad? Y otra cosa con relación al presente continuo, William, es que lo podemos usar para eh, acciones progresivas o continuas en este momento, en el presente, en el momento de hablar, y también lo usamos para oraciones en el futuro, que es muy común en inglés, por cierto, ¿verdad? Muy bien, esa es una pequeña vista de lo que es el uso del presente simple y el presente continuo. Eh, esto lo vimos en la presentación, ya le voy a decir, William, para que vaya al grupo de WhatsApp y lo, y lo pueda, o al, al video, ¿verdad? Y lo pueda usted este, comparar. Está en la presentación 12. Si lo ven en el... ¿O quiere que se lo envíe nuevamente, eh, William? Eh, si quiere, yo lo puedo buscar para no, no confundir también a los compañeros. Ah, va. Sí, sí, ah. también porque me cree que es la, la presentación de ahora. Ajá. Ajá. Y también en, en la plataforma, igual, es la clase número 12, el video número 12, sí. Ahí va a ver usted eh, más amplio este tema, ¿verdad? Y con ejemplo. Yo igual estoy bajando todo como hice el curso pasado. Ah, oh, excelente. La presentación. Excelente, ahí no le voy a aburrir verme ahí hablando mucho. <risa> ok. Bien, no, William. No. Good, William. And lo felicito, ¿verdad? Por estar siempre pendiente de la clase, participativo y todo, pues. Eh, muy bien, me parece, ¿verdad? Y, y como siempre, la vez pasada, pues le di los consejos para mejorar su inglés. Música, películas, ¿verdad? Lecturas en inglés, internet. Uh, ahí hay sin fin de recursos para que usted practique, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, y los videos que mando, los siempre que, que mando al grupo, todavía los sigue viendo, Helen. Sí, los veo algunos, algunos. Hay ah, otros que no, 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 no queda. Muy tiempo. Sí. Igual Eli. ahora estuve viendo la clase del viernes que no pude. Ok. Ahora, mañana voy a ver la clase del lunes que no pude verla también. Ok. Para poder tener completo lo. La idea ahí, ¿no? Sí, sí, sí. Ok, William. Ah, Thank you much. Eh, cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? Y puede preguntar en el grupo de WhatsApp también que esto es sus órdenes, ¿ok? Bien, gracias. Ok, bye bye. See you tomorrow. Gracias. God bless you.